Hello everybody, and we're gonna be having enough remods. One's a follower, one is actually a complete retexture, and the another one is, well, for character creating. Uh, the first one, as you can tell, I got a little bit of a child follower here, and this is Transform Vampire Faith Granius in version two by Mosakari, I guess I'm pronouncing it right or wrong, mostly probably wrong. But it adds uh, this follower here. You will find her in the Broken Fang uh, cave after you've killed a few skeletons, a, a couple of vampires, a vampire master or lord or whatever the hell. Uh, you'll find her in a cage. You're going to have to break her out and try to recruit her as your follower. Uh, I did notice that uh, she will not follow you if you have another follower. Uh, of course, that could just be because I probably have you know something installed wrong. I don't know. Uh, for like multiple followers, but uh, you get two options with her. You get uh, for the download, uh, you get young and eager, or you get child. Given the fact that she is the size of a child, I went with the child one. So I'll show you some of her dialogue. You're the best. Can you be my mother? And if you want to trade things with her, she will say. I understand. And you can basically trade things with her. Uh, Until next time. What she's wearing uh, is just the vampire outfit I killed off a vampire and gave to her. Same with swords. The sword, I gave her that. Uh, she basically has the default uh, look of just the regular vampire you know, clothes. Uh, so, if you want her as a follower, like an adorable little bloodthirsty monster of a follower, then go with it. Because uh, not only do you have to... Uh, dive into a cave to get her and then free her you also have to go to another cave to uh get a sigil for her so that she can use her full vampiric powers and let me tell you it is not an easy fight at all you will probably die before you can even down health potions and if you have any kind of mod that requires the health potions to work over time you're going to die repeatedly the best thing you could do is get the uh uh, gargoyle's attention, jump behind one of the cabinets, and then uh, kind of uh, stand just back a ways uh, against one of the walls so it can't hit you because it will drain your HP extremely fast. Uh, I'm not kidding you on this. I ended up having to uh, do a full restart on that whole cave six times just because I kept getting killed by the gargoyle itself. Uh, I don't suggest console commands because that will not actually work on it. It doesn't actually seem to, you know, actually die. It stays standing up and you can't loot its body, so you probably can't do that with it. Uh, other than that, she will transform into a vampire at certain points. Uh, during the daytime, she is not exactly all that powerful, uh, but during the nighttime, she is pretty strong. Because... Uh, she does weaken during the night, uh, daytime because of the fact that uh, she is, in fact, a vampire. Uh, at night in interiors or eclipses, she'll actually uh, be able to transform. Uh, she transforms when her health is 50% or less, and she is obviously a follower. So, if this is something that you'd like to have, then go for it. I highly suggest getting this mod because it's unique. It's not every day that you'll find a tiny vampire follower that also can be that can use the dialogue of children. All right, now on to our next mod. And for this mod, it is like I said, a complete retexture. This is the Dragon Tongue's high definition nature colors or natural colors, just say, by Renthal three one one. Uh, this pretty much does exactly what it says it's going to do. It actually creates a high-definition version of uh, the texture for the dragon, dragon tongue plants. As you can tell, it is more vibrant. The leaves are more green. The reds are redder. The stem actually looks like it, something that grows out of nature. Uh, it's, it looks like an amazing-looking flower. Uh, there is an alternate version for this if you're if you don't want the purples and reds, if you want uh, the dragon tongue to look white, there is a high definition white version of it. Uh, it comes in, uh, I believe, uh, 2K and 4K textures. So 
if this is something that you want, if you want your Skyrim to look a little brighter, then uh, by all means go for it. The main file that you download is of course the 4K texture for the mod. So if you can't use like 4K, they, the mod author has uh, put in the optional files a 1K and 2K version. There is also a uh, white version that is in 4K and there's a white version that is in 1K. So if you want to choose which kinds that you get, then this is going to be the mod for you. Uh, again, this is just a retexture or of the uh, actual plant itself. So it shouldn't really have that big of an impact on your game. Uh, but it does make everything look a whole lot nicer. And now on to our final mod. And as you can tell, we are in the eye section. I do have the eye colors uh, highlighted. This is because I have uh, this mod to show off to you. This is New Meekin Eyes by Nirun. And this adds a lot of different uh, eye textures and even the, like a couple things for the eyebrow, well, eyelashes themselves. So uh, as you can tell, this is the first one and I will start cycling through. As you can tell, they do have a shine to them. They are a bit of a high quality look to them. And uh, they do come in varieties, as you can tell. As I cycle through all these, uh, eventually you'll start seeing how uh, the eyelashes themselves will also have uh, things added to them. And they're not going to be like crazy outlandish kinds of uh, different eyes like some of the eye packs actually have. Uh, they seem to actually have uh, some kind of natural looking colors to them, some of them not so much. But then again, it is a fantasy game, so we can give it some leeway. <laughs> And as you can tell, the eyelashes now have a bit of uh, color to them. They do seem to have, be a bit fuller. So you do actually start noticing that uh, the eyelashes do begin to uh, take on some kind of adornment. As you can tell, the tips of the eyelashes themselves are now, uh, well, have things on them. So, I suppose I'll have her uh, go with this, this color and uh, the, this look for the eyelashes as well and uh, call it done. Uh, this is one of those mods that it doesn't seem like it's going to add very much to it, but eventually it does in the long run, just in the overall appeal to your character. Okay, so... If you have any uh, comments, questions, or anything like that, let me know in the comment section, and I will try to address any of the questions that uh, are asked. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. And if you have any mods that you would like me to check out in the future, I will actually try it, like to actually see what people would like me to show. Uh, take care, and see you in the next episode. See ya.